if you have a team or if you are part of a team, I would bet that you want your team to be aligned, right? And maybe your team is already aligned and that's great. That's good for you. But let's face it, perfect alignment doesn't really exist. At best, we go the same overall direction, but we always have conflicting agendas, different opinion on things, different ideas. And when it comes to check on that alignment, one of the things that I constantly see is the temptation to give more information. We want people to be on the same page, row in the same direction. And we see that instinctly where our brain goes is, hey, let's put another report. Let's put send another memo. Um, let's share the presentation so that people know where the company is going. And it's all about communicating, saying, telling, putting more words, images out in hope that magically people will see where to go and find alignment. But here is the thing about alignment. We don't align because we understand better where to go. We also align, not just that, we also align because we feel heard. We feel that the direction that maybe the organization wants us to go is aligned with our personal sense of direction. So we underestimate the power of listening when it comes to alignment. And that's something that I see with all of the leadership teams that I work with. And I can think of a, a few recent examples, um, meetings that I facilitate, uh, leadership team meetings that I facilitate during which it's easy to fall into the trap of reacting. Reacting. As soon as we hear something, we make assumptions and we skip the power of listening and we actually don't use our curiosity enough. So if you, if you feel something similar, if you feel like you are in a team or you lead a team that you know, has a hard time with the alignment piece and doesn't, doesn't align fast enough, my advice is to slow down to accelerate the alignment process. What do I mean by this? Slow down by using your curiosity and ask questions before you jump into reaction. What about if you respond? You know, there is a difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is like immediate, you know, we react to something, we, we dive in. It's almost like our brain switches uh, to autopilot mode. But when we respond, we give our interaction a chance to take a different route. And maybe we have a chance to not respond with just more words, but maybe respond with a question. And that's when the curiosity piece come into play. So if you feel like you want to lead alignment in a different manner, lead with leadership. Leadership is about, is about first um, showing a route that maybe is unexplored. Uh, and especially if you are in in a transition, in change, in the moment of adaptation, in a moment of growth, where we feel like we're launching something maybe that we are uncertain about, we're about to make decisions that has a lot of uncertainty. Well, it is your role to maybe slow down the pace here and offer a moment of listening. When people feel listened to, they align so much more easily. So in practical, practical terms, how does this look like? And here is what I do during the meetings that I facilitate. I suggest that when somebody brings a problem or a topic or a question or uh, a situation they want some help with or where, 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 whether that's a decision or uh, you know, a, a struggle or some kind of problem they, they want to share with the team, I suggest that we agree on a certain amount of time during which everyone around the table or in the room, if it's a digital room or a Zoom call, will only be able to ask questions. This is also a technique that I use in my um, mastermind group, uh, the MetaHelm Changemakers. During each group, each each week, each, each, each meeting that we have with this mastermind group, if, if somebody comes with a topic, we know that 
one of our values is curiosity. And we engage in this topic with a sense of, um, you say in English, inquisitiveness, I guess. <laughs> with a sense of curiosity, you got my point. So back to you and your meeting, and you're trying to create alignment. One of the things you could do is say, hey, how about for the first five, maybe 10 minutes, we agree that we're going to listen to the person who is exposing the problem to us, and we'll only be able to ask questions. Specifically, I'm going to give you another tip. Those questions should start with, I wonder, I wonder what? I wonder how, I wonder why, I wonder if, I wonder if you've talked to this other person about you know, this situation. I wonder what would happen if you looked at the problem this other way. I wonder how you got to determine that this was problem X, Y, Z. See the... I'm trying to role model and, and give you some concrete example here. And you will be immediately, I think, surprised about the healing effect that this type of approach to, to leading this type of conversation for alignment has. It heals relationship. You create meaning. You make people feel heard. You slow down the pace so that people have more chance to detect the nuances so that people have, and, and that's on, on both sides, so that the person with the problem has another chance to explain and explore their thoughts and maybe discover blind spots, right? Because it's through questioning that we can only uncover blind spots. So go ahead and try this simple and very powerful technique to work with a group and start a conversation only working with questions. And tell me how it works. Tell me how, how much alignment you are able to create and, and how your communication, and that's the following step, is more efficient as a result. When people feel like they have been part of the conversation first, that they've really, really been recognized, that you've given them a space, you've given them a moment of deep attention, you, that you've, you've really given them um, something that, you know, also they will rarely find outside of work. How many times do you really, really feel that your family, your spouse, your partner, your kids, your friends, your neighbors, people in your community really slow down and take the time to listen to you and acknowledge and welcome your fears, your doubts, your excitement, your celebrations, also your moments of stress, your anxiety, right? Not very often. It's something very, very precious, very special. That's the kind of things we cultivate at MetaHelm, especially in that mastermind program that I just mentioned. Once again, I invite you to engage in those conversations for alignment with a sense of curiosity so that you create a purposeful team. Good luck. And as always, uh, let me know how it goes. Post a comment, a question. Give me some feedback. Tell me how this works for you. I look forward to seeing you succeed in aligning with your team. Good luck.